boy, they're really not not playing with it this year. It used to be 30, 40 feet, or if you weren't in the play, they let it go. Now they're calling it quickly and often. Hudson on the faceoff with Linsman out to the right of Waite. Waite has not been tested by Boston, although they had some territorial play on the Janney line. And Chicago with it, Keith Brown breaks it out with Doug Wilson. They make an imposing defensive pair. The lead in for Chicago, Dirk Graham, Graham going for it. But Telvin works it away and starts it back. Telvin up to Linsman. Linsman on Doug Wilson. He's over the line. He flips it right in front for Wesley. In shot, score! Wesley from Linsman. Beautiful combination play right between the paths of wait to wait, make it 1 0. That's what Glenn Wesley needed. He had some great opportunities last night in Minnesota. But watch this. Wait goes down early. This is a sign. He's screened. He's already down on the ice, looking to fan his legs. Now watch Wilson. You're going to see him go down. Wade is already looking at Wesley right in the slot. He figures he's going to have his feet, so let's leave him open. Wesley just went through the hole, the five hole between both of them. What an advantage to have a defenseman like young Wesley who can move on the attack. Does it ever. One nothing Boston. Wesley set up by Ken Linsman. Andy Brickley out there with Linsman and Crowder. Galley's playing tonight. A little more offense. And a discussion over at the Boston bench by the linesman. Don't know what it was about, but it could be he was saying, watch that transition on players. Possibly. Or go to Mike Ditka's place after. Wesley's first from Linsman and Telvin at 338. Good start here in Chicago. One Watch Thomas. Boston. Right back comes Thomas. Over the line. The play is offside. 16-13 left in the first period. Boston leads 1-0. Glenn Wesley the score. Keith Brown, the defenseman, screened the goaltender Wake. This broadcast authorized by the Boston Bruins Hockey Club solely for the entertainment of our viewing audience. Any broadcast, rebroadcast, other use of the accounts or descriptions of this game without the express written consent of the Boston Bruins or TV 38 is prohibited. They're calling the faceoff in the Boston zone now. Well, I think they're going to say Galley tipped it in. I, I really don't see that. I don't really... I don't recall anything happening outside of a high shot by Thomas. But Galley might have got a piece of it somehow. Savard isn't out there, but this is a strong line for Chicago. Troy Murray at center. Thomas, one time 34 goal scorer for Toronto at left wing. And Rick Vive, we know he's got the shot in the league. Don Sweeney goes back on defense, gets it away to Ray Bork. Up on the right for Byers. Byers. Now to Burridge. Burridge coming on Keith Brown. Going deep. Try to slide it through. And Byers couldn't get there in time. And a penalty coming up. He was spilled. A penalty on Chicago for hooking. That almost paid off in front of Wade. Bruins on a power play. Bruins one Hawks. Nothing back at the moment. Very hero heads up play by Byers. He goes into goaltender post and all. One nothing Boston Bruins on a power play. Murray out for tripping or hooking Byers. An argument now by Ken Linsman as he was set for the faceoff. Well, they're not kicking him out evidently. Puck down. He scraps for it and Bork moves in to get it in the corner. Bork is up at the right wing position. Lynn's been back at the point for him. It's into Brickley. Andy Brickley, who has one goal on the season. Quiet free agent from New Jersey. Gives it to Lindsman. Lindsman, the quarterback on the play. At this right wing side. Telvin moved in, but he didn't hit him with the pass. Now it's back to Bork. Now to Telvin. Hits it on the go. It's deflected wide. With it, Crowder in the corner. Crowder holding now on the opposite side. Gives it to Lindsman right near the net. Linsman sweeps it in front. Bork coming up. Tough angle. Can't shoot. Pulls it behind the net. Works it in front. And a whistle for a faceoff and maybe a penalty. Penalty to Linsman, I think, for slashing in front of the net. Linsman going out, nullifying the Boston power play. 
interference, says Bob Hall, the referee. And uh, he provided some screen there for Bork, who was moving behind the net and coming right out in front. Lindsman is out. Here, great. Watch this play by Ray Bork. Now, this is where it goes for not. But look at this. Ray Bork says, why not? No one's coming to me. I'm going in front of the net. Lindsman over there slashing and interfering, however. Now, he's got to bother somebody in front of the net. Just a little too vigorous that time. Boston leads 1-0. Wesley, the score from Lindsman and Telvin. Each team short of man. 15-17 left in the first period here at the noisy Chicago Stadium. What a great place to watch a hockey game from. Janney is out with Joyce with each team short of man. And uh, Doug Wilson is on starting the playoff. It's up for Dennis Savard. He was went offside. Delayed call. The Bruins have it. Joyce coming out. Joyce broken up by Wilson. Savard on it. He's on with Larmer. In a minute, it'll be a power play for Chicago. Right now, Doug Wilson, good offensive defenseman. Long kick out saved by Moog on the drive from the blue line. In front of the net, the Bruins take over. Wesley sends Janney away. Janney picking up Telvin, but they don't combine. It's kept in, though, by Wesley. Wesley along the line.